Hi there, this is Cheryl. Um, I wanted to do a screencast on, well, basically a tutorial that can help you out with the uh, reimagined road signs assignment that I wrote. And uh, it would also be helpful for the four icon challenge. I realize we're moving right out of the visual assignments period, but uh, you might still want to know how to do this stuff, so it's never too late to toss in a little tutorial. And I've got a little cue card set up here for the things I want to go over. There's there's several things. So um, to start off with, when you're making an icon, um, Timmy Boy's tip about going to the noun project is awesome. But sometimes they just they don't have what you need exactly. And um, I'm going to reimagine this road sign right here. Basically, the point of the assignment is you take a road sign and you imagine what's going on outside the little part depicted on the sign and you draw that and then you show the before and after on your blog. So um, this is a photo that I took in Australia and I always think of it as um, Michael Jackson crossing the street <laughs> because I don't know that's just what it looked like to me and so um, the first thing I want to show you is is how to do a Google search. When you're making an icon, uh, it's really helpful to search for a silhouette uh, because really you just need a black outline of something for the most part when you're doing iconic images. So I have done a little Google search for Michael Jackson icon silhouette and I wanted to show you um, one of the nice things you can do with Google search is you can start your search like I did and then you can click the advanced search and wait a sec it's not exactly what I had in mind um, oh, I'm sorry my my computer is suffering from running uh, like all of my programs at the same time let's see okay so start your search and then go to images right here in the sidebar and it'll it'll pop up with initial imagery but then you can take that search even further by going to your advanced search parameters and wait for my computer and uh, you can tell it uh, down here when you're searching for images you know I want something uh, not postage stamp size for example so you can choose where it says any size and go with you know larger than 640 by 480 you can go up into the megapixels for sizes if you want to and then um, down here usage rights safe search usage rights that's what I'm after um, you can say hey I want something that's labeled for reuse with modification so right there you're you're telling Google to only search for things uh, that are basically in a sort of a Creative Commons range and um, you can can limit your results that way so that you're not using something that's going to get you into copyright trouble if you're worried about that. So then search again. You know, I did this search earlier and it worked fine and now it's not finding any documents. That's really weird. Well, trust me, this normally works. I'm going to move on instead of waste your time and do it again. Now what I found in that search the last time I did it was this this image on DeviantArt that um, has a whole bunch of Michael Jackson silhouettes and ultimately I decided that that wasn't going to work for my needs but another one that I found is this one right here it's a nice big image of um, a really good silhouette I think it's recognizable for who it is and so I'm going to show you how you can take this and uh, quickly use Illustrator to transform it into a into an icon. And we're going to also do a little work in Photoshop with my photograph of the sign. I'm going to put them both together in Illustrator. So um, I'm going to uh, control click on my Mac, which is basically a right click, and I'm going to copy this image. And I'm going to go straight to Illustrator with it, which is running. I hope I'm not making you sick with my mouse movements, but uh, I wanted you to have like a big video 
where you could see what's going on. So now in Illustrator, I'll make a new document and just take the default size and uh, paste that image in. And it's bigger than I want it to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is scale it down. Now with uh, the Move tool active, that's the little black arrow, if I just um, go down and grab the corner and then hold the Shift and the Option on Windows or Alt on Mac key down, I can scale it down toward, towards the center and keep the aspect ratio so that I don't accidentally distort the image. And then one of the things that happens when you paste a pixel-based image into Illustrator is the options bar comes up ready to trace it for you. And I'm going to use this live trace feature to convert um, the raster graphic into a, an Illustrator object. So um, since I have a silhouette, um, choosing the one color logo tracing option is going to be just about exactly what I want. So I do that and you can't even, you can barely tell the difference, but what it's done is instead of me having a, a pixel object that I can't manipulate, I've now got a tracing that with um, Illustrator anchor points and vector handles and stuff that I will be able to manipulate. Um, before I can manipulate it though, I want to expand it and um, let me move the layers panel over here so that hopefully you can see on screen what happens when I click this expand button. Watch what happens to my layers. It Instead of a tracing it becomes a group and all of a sudden I can see the little anchor points and what I want to do now is ungroup it so that it um, I can get rid of the little words Michael Jackson. I don't really need that part. So I'm going to go to Object, Ungroup, and I'm going to keep doing that until Ungroup isn't an option anymore. It's grayed out. And now um, if, I, if I hit the Delete key or if I do anything, since I have all of these little objects selected, uh, they would all disappear, or I would, I would affect all of them with that action. You can see in the Layers panel that um, everything has become a separate object, everything that's physically separate. Uh, so when I ungroup, that's what happened. But with my Move tool, I just need to click anywhere where there's no objects so that I deselect, and then I'm going to kind of drag Lasso around those and hit the Delete key to get rid of that. And now I'm left with just this one path that uh, is the Michael Jackson silhouette that I wanted. And we're going to leave that there and move into Photoshop for the second part of this. And then we'll come back to Illustrator and put these pieces together. So um, I'm going to switch back to my browser. Hello. My poor computer. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to go grab my photo the same way. I'm going to uh, right click and copy the image. And this time I'm going to go activate Photoshop. I'm using CS5, uh, but whatever, this should work with whatever version you have going way back. So I'm going to say File New. And because I have something on the clipboard that I just copied, uh, Photoshop comes up with the width and height in pixels of whatever's in my clipboard and the resolution. So I'm going to say OK to that. And then I can just paste. And my image comes in on a separate layer. And that's exactly what I want. OK, and what I really want to do is just isolate this sign. I don't need any of that stuff in the background. So I'm going to grab the quick selection tool. You can hold down any tool in the toolbar that has one of those little tiny triangles next to it and get to other tools that are kind of hidden underneath. So the quick selection tool is really good for finding edges. As you click and drag with it, it looks for an edge and it tries to select only what's kind of within um, the parameters of that contrasting edge that it finds. And I don't really need this thing at the top, so if I hold down the Alt key on Mac, Option on Windows, and I click up in that gray, 
I'm going to delete the gray. And what I'm aiming for, I'm not getting a very precise selection here, because what I'm aiming for is just to isolate the, the yellow and black part of the sign here. So right now that's what's selected. If I were to delete right now, I would delete that. So I'm going to select the inverse of that to get everything else. Press my delete key and just get rid of that other stuff. My sign is on a little bit of an angle. So um, let me deselect here. You can do Command-D for that. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Um, all right, um, I want to kind of reduce the appearance that this thing is on an angle. Also, the shot that I took was blurry. You can see that there's fuzz on the feet. I got a fix for that. So um, first I'm going to transform. And if you go to Edit, Transform, what I really want to do is skew this and so I'm just going to activate skew and I'm going to grab the side here and just kind of pull it around until I get that circle into more of a circular shape. I don't want it to look quite so um, tilted flat. And it's, it's a, just a little adjustment, but um, I think it helps. And then I'm going to hit my return key on my keyboard or enter key. Um, and now uh, I'm going to apply an adjustment to make all the pixels uh, on this layer either black or white, nothing in between. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. If you do it over here with one of these in the adjustments panel, then it's a non-destructive edit. But I don't care if I destroy this because I'm going to move it over into Illustrator anyway. So I'm going to use the destructive version. Image, adjustments, threshold and right away you can see that it's turned the image only black or only white and I can drag before I apply it I can drag this slider to control where the black and white is and it was actually pretty good on its default but I'm gonna go with this click OK and now I wanna just erase anything that I don't want so I'm going to grab the eraser by pressing the letter E on my keyboard. And um, there's two keys to the right of your letter P on your keyboard. There are these little brackets. The right bracket will actually make your brush size bigger. And I'm just going to check my brush options and make sure that I have a solid brush, um, a hard brush rather, not a feathered brush, soft. I want a hard one. Um, it's just faster. And I'll go ahead and erase all this black that I don't need. Now I'm going to get the zoom tool, zoom in right over here. You can see it's very pixelated, but I don't care. Illustrator is going to take care of this for me. Um, back to my eraser. Now my brush is way too big, so I'm going to use that left bracket key to quickly reduce it. And I'll just erase these little stray pixels right there. Okay. So um, now I don't really want any white in this image. I'm going to trash my background layer. And see, I've still got white. Uh, forgot about that. So I will quickly switch from the quick selection tool to the magic wand. Click my white. It should grab all the white pixels and I press delete and deselect command D to deselect. So this is what I wanted, just the pants and the shoes. <laughs> and now I've got to save this. I'm going to go ahead and just save it to my desktop. I'll call it legs. You can see I've done this once before just to make sure it was going to work out. So I'll replace that file. And now I can basically quit out of Photoshop. I'm good. Switching back to Illustrator, um, let's. This time I want to use a file place to put my Photoshop image right into this document. So file place, and I'm going to find my legs Photoshop file, place it, and it's there. Right here, 
right? And it's, it's looking kind of uh, pixely, but I need to do the same thing to it that I did to Michael Jackson here. I'm going to use the live trace feature and I'm going to go with a one color logo setting. And you can see how it kind of cleaned up that pixelization. Uh, it doesn't make perfect straight lines. You know, if, if there was something bendy out here, it might detect that as a path, but that's okay for this assignment. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go ahead and click my expand button, but I don't think I need to ungroup this one. I'm just going to keep it the way that it is. And now what I want is to sort of blend these two things together. So I'm going to be using the move tool, just moving them around, resizing them and seeing what I can do. So uh, first off, I want this leg to blend with this leg. Um, so if I take my move tool and approach the corner of it, I can rotate it. You can see that the icon changed to a little rotate icon. And I'm just going to kind of try and match that angle. And I'm also going to need to scale one or the other of these. So shift, we'll keep it from distorting and I'm holding down the option key as well to uh, resize it from the center. Okay, I have a little more rotating to do. A little more moving around. Yeah, something like that. I'm going to click away just to get rid of those blue lines. So I haven't got the size exactly perfect, but it's very close. Okay, now I have pieces sticking out a little bit. And to determine what they are, I'm going to hide the legs. Okay, so I've got a little bit of leg sticking out up here, and I've got a little bit of Michael Jackson sticking out right down there. Um, so I'm going to fiddle with that just a bit. First off, I'm going to try to align the, the knee area a little better. Okay, and then I'm going to um, lock off by pressing the lock toggle for the legs. So I've locked off the legs. I can't edit those right now. All I can edit is this path here. And I just want to grab the eraser. Illustrator has an eraser now. And I'm going to erase that little sticking out piece. Now it, it looked like I was eating into the leg, but really Illustrator was just showing me what I was doing to this top layer. So when I let go, it you can see it didn't erase the pants here. And now I'm going to unlock the little pants. I'm going to lock off Michael Jackson. And I'm going to do the same thing, grab the eraser and kind of Oh, well, I probably didn't do that so well. The good thing about Illustrator is there's a lot of undo. I think it would be better if I just get the size or the rotation the way that I need them to be. Sometimes Illustrator wants to rotate a little fast on you and you can hold down the control key on your keyboard and get it to go slower and more subtle. And if I can get it to where I only have to erase one of these things, that's going to work the best. So I think I've got it like that. I'm going to lock off Michael Jackson, unlock the pants, erase the part of the pants that overlap. Yeah, that's quite a bit better. Okay, so um, this is my story of what's going on outside of of that picture. Um, it's really Michael Jackson walking across the street. 
and um, now I can save this for for the web now if you needed to if you had like a lot of extra white or you just want to control the, the cropping um, at least in Illustrator 4 and 5 you've got something called the artboard I think you can go to document setup right there and um, click edit artboards and you'll get the existing artboard that you have and I just want to grab the edges and pull it pull it in until I kinda like the framing of this white around around uh, my image just so that I don't have you know excessive white off to one side or the other because that's gonna be part of my image when I save it for the web all right that's good enough for me so when you're finished the return key on your keyboard say okay wait that's not right escape key there you go <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and save this for the web now so file save for web and devices and you can see I, I can put this over any color if I want to keep it transparent as a GIF I do like to experiment with file size so I've got 6k 3 second download at a, a really slow dial-up so that's good and um, 17 colors so I don't really need this set at 256 I could set it at 16 and see what happens and the edges get a little pixely there so I'll go up to the next level up and still 6k I could try it as a ping just ping 8 and that's actually a little bit larger as a file size so GIF it is and um, I'll keep the transparency that way I can put it over a blog of any color and it won't matter um, like the background will just show through so I guess I can't put it over a black background obviously but um, <laughs> a light colored background any light colored background will work so I'm gonna oops I don't want to save yet the other thing to do is check your image size and I've got uh, 533 pixels by 720 I'm gonna make this uh, 600 what the heck I hit apply gets a little bigger and save Jackson I'm gonna get ready to post this to my blog and I will you know go back and give credit to where I got the the Michael Jackson silhouette so that's why I left it open in my browser but uh, that's how I approach this assignment there's probably many other ways to do it I just thought you might find those Photoshop and Illustrator working together tips helpful for your own work so have a great day everybody I'm looking forward to your design and audio work this week